I've come up with a strategy to get off of the GPT-4 API waitlist, and it actually works. I'll show you how I cracked the system and got access to OpenAI's GPT-4 API, and how you can apply and get access to. It's worth noting, this works for brand new OpenAI accounts as well, and I have not linked any GitHub or coding projects to my application. GPT-4 API access is the holy grail in the AI community right now. There's seemingly no rhyme or reason for who gets access and who is stuck waiting for months. People want access so they can use the latest projects and tools being produced, like AutoGPT, which requires GPT-4 API access to work properly. First, you're gonna to need to apply to get on the waitlist. I'll put a link in the video description for the waitlist application so it's easy to find. If you've already applied for GPT-4 access and not heard back within two weeks, you'll wanna follow these steps and reapply. From what I found, reapplying for access does not put you at the back of the line. It appears they're using software to sift through these applications, and if it's been over two weeks, your application was likely denied. Many on Reddit and Discord have complained that they applied on day one and months later have heard nothing back. So it's definitely not a first in, first out system. Now for the actual application. In the form, the first part is your personal information. For company name, I put personal. The organization ID is actually linked to your OpenAI account. So you just need to click this link and then log into your OpenAI account. You'll copy this and then go back and paste it in your application. The next part asks you about your primary plan to use GPT-4. I put general exploration of capabilities here. The last part asks about specific ideas that you're excited about to use GPT-4 for. I was truthful in my application here. I want to be clear, I did not lie. I answered their question as honestly as I could. I simply answered through the lens of an application to a software company that wants their product for cool and novel stuff. For this question, I started thinking about some programs that would be super cool to see, and then I listed that. This is probably the most challenging part of this application, but honestly, you can use ChatGPT for inspiration and help with ideas here. For me, I thought a tool to help people with travel bookings would be pretty cool and something I want to look into making later on. I hadn't started this project yet, but it's something I would need access to GPT-4's API before I could start it. From here, I think the next biggest step to getting approved and showing you're serious about using the API is setting up your API billing account with OpenAI. This just makes sense. It shows that you're serious about using the tool and that you have funds to pay for it. Keep in mind, this tool is very cheap, relatively speaking. It can actually be cheaper than ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month, which brings me to something that a lot of people seem to get confused with. Setting up your API billing account is different than paying for ChatGPT Plus, the $20 a month service. I have a separate video on setting up your API billing account if you wanna make sure you set it up properly. I'll link to it in the video description below. That being said, I am paying for ChatGPT Plus from the OpenAI account that I applied from. According to Reddit and Discord, this does not have an effect on whether you get approved or not. But I wanted to mention it because I have to think it helps. Initially, I had applied for GPT-4 API access over a month ago and heard nothing back. But I decided to reapply using these strategies. After filling out the application and setting up my API billing account, I received the coveted email one week later. You're invited to use OpenAI's GPT-4 API. I was granted access to the 8K version. The 8K is the token limit that they allow for a single session. This is like the memory of a single chat session. More advanced programmers have applied for a 32K token limit, but the 8K limit should work for most. If you try this and hear nothing after two weeks, I suggest you reapply and come up with a new concept that you could use GPT-4 for. Like I said, I believe it's automated, so throwing in some programming and coding language probably doesn't hurt. But give this a try and let me know in the comments below if it ends up working for you or if you have some strategies that you think work better. Best of luck and subscribe if you want more tips on navigating the AI community. Thanks.